And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you another game. Another of the three pack that I purchased um, back from Fanatical at some point in time. Uh, this one's called War for the Overworld. Um, from what I understand, this you are the evil. Welcome back, Underlord. Welcome back. I haven't even been here before. Um, it literally just finished downloading. Where is this? Oh, there we go. Options. I would like to be able to hear. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, all I know was like some demon raise hell spawn kind of thing. Uh, it is $29.99 on Steam. Um, apparently there's a multiplayer and a map. You know what? Screw this. Single player. We're going. Uh, there's there's expansions huh okay my pet dungeon explore a sandbox campaign with a focus of building dungeons of your dreams face off against opponents maps crucible survive endless waves hmm. how about we just say campaign okay so yeah you do have to uh, purchase these other expansions but we're just gonna go with the main one and just dive right into this now go Welcome back, Underlord. I well, must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed, and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire. Now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess Kira that will truly test our mettle. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the overworld. Okay. Reset home realm, replay intro cutscene, reset campaign progress. Oh, look at my glorious severed hand here. Um, three achievements, 11 home realm. Uh, is this level one? Okay, that has I've to be. I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. Okay. Oh, play. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. You've returned as a husk of your former self. But I've taught far denser Underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core. Okay. Thank you for the help button. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your hmm. workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. I don't Once understand. They have laid down the stones, 
besides marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your lackeys get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. <laughs> I have so much money. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. This okay. is a gateway. One of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Okay. I did. Oh, I think I get it now. I can tell them which ones to break down and then they'll immediately go and now do it to those. Okay. Gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room would allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. Okay, so I... I guess I did that right. This is definitely interesting, to say the least. I've got... What's with this? What am I doing with all this money? I can't get rid of it. What is it for? Already did. I built it, didn't I? Oh, there we go. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head. And they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Perfect. Outside of combat, gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you'll find them slouching off. Then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon oh, them. Oh, I see. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Okay, um, is there a way I can create more little crap heads? You can increase the efficiency of props within your rooms by fortifying the walls closest to the props. Workers will fortify walls automatically when they've completed all their other tasks. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Work I mean, I really don't know what to say. A banner around which your workers will prioritize tasks. Slap the banner with a right click to dismiss it, or right click on its icon to dismiss all worker rally flags at once. Come on, minions of darkness, break open this place. So this game definitely seems like a very time-consuming experience, which generally isn't. Your vaults cannot store any more gold. Well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. What do you mean? Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark. Ah, desires. I am Your core full. can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, 
Simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a there. slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets. A delicacy micro that piglets. Can sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. The vault will store your hard earned gold when your dungeon core can no longer store anymore. Each tile will store 1,000 gold, meaning the room is effective at any size. Effective my left foot. I have tried to increase the size of everything. Um, so this I need to do a new bedroom because I kind of got rid of the old one. Um, Okay, I think I've done it. Um, I did build a slaughter pen. What are you talking about? There we go. Beds. There we Your go. dungeon has been breached. Cast rally upon these specters, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Rally. Where is a... Oh no, they're doing something. Finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Uh, that's, um, a second rally flag. What does you mean? Your gnarlings made short work of those specters, but see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. Whack. This should allow your minions to return whack. to their jobs. Whack, Tell whack, their whack. Tell their in a timely fashion. You can cast recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. The hell? Though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. I don't know what the hell he's doing over there. Whatever. Um... So what am I doing now? Oh, I'm supposed to learn how to recall. You're on a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Well done, Underlord. I Victory. see it all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less, but there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. The realm of no. Rotate that a bit. Nope. Rotate back a bit. Yeah. There we go. Uh, well, actually, um does seem like an interesting game but it takes way too much brain power as a lot of you know that i can't output that for a long period of time it does look like a good game where you uh build dungeons and prevent attacks but it's just not my style of game um though as i said it's available for 29.99 off of steam uh the game's name is what is it uh war for the overworld if these this is the type of game you're interested in by all means it's available for you other than that if you folks did enjoy this please remember to hit that like button other than that subscribe if you want to see more and then i'll see you all in the next episode of whatever the heck i end up recording thanks for watching